on ESPN. Mm-hmm. We'll have a look at the bruising power of the A train. Anthony Thomas, as he and that offensive line look to set the tone in this one. Jaguars, Bill. Now. While the teams are out on the field getting loose, the fans are filing in and finding their seats for the game. Hello and welcome to Ralph Wilson Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. Peter O'Keefe is next to me in the booth, and Peter, we've got a couple of offensive powerhouses down on the field. No doubt about it, Dan. We could be in for a high-scoring game today. Byron Leftwich is one of the bigger quarterbacks in the league, and that allows him to see the field and to shrug off some would-be tacklers in the backfield. He's not the only big-time player on that squad, though. Fred Taylor is just a great all-around running back. He's got speed, vision, jukes, power, a little bit of everything. A talented duo to be certain. They just might make the difference out there. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins. But first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. Ryan Lindell kicking off for the There's field. the signal, and we're it's ready. It's time for Bills football. Lindell boots the opening kickoff. Tofield fields it all the way back to four. Bang down at the 23. Well, it looks like the weather is cooperating with us today, but Susie has the full scoop on that. Susie. Thanks, Dan. It's a beautiful temperate day. The conditions couldn't be better right now for a game of football. Back to you, fellas. Susie, thank you. The Jaguars get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 23-yard line. Taylor takes his first carry of the game and moves forward for seven. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, those are some big setbacks up there, but unfortunately, this is to be expected. Players can't spend time worrying about whether they'll get injured. They just have to go out there, play hard, and hope for the best. Fred Taylor played it smart back there by following his blockers, and, and that allowed him to make some good yards. They moved the ball, and it will be second down. Taylor gets the first down, and he is left, tackled at the 32. Terrence McGee made the save, dropping the ball carrier before he could get to the markers. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third and short. Third down from the arm. Picks up about two, and they convert the third down. First down, Jaguar. Well, look at those numbers from last year. That is impressive. Jones goes in motion. Leftwich zips it to the left sideline, and it falls incomplete. With the deflection. Second and ten. Ball at the Jaguars, 34 yard line. Taylor will get the handoff and he gets past the line. Tackled at the 37. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Leftwich throws a heater right sideline, and the reception is made past the markers for a first, first down. down Jaguar. Byron Leftwich completes a nice pass past the D on this play. It's worth another look here. 
Oh, it's all about accuracy, Dan, and there was only one guy covering him on that one, so it makes it an easy catch. A nice gain, and they easily convert on third down. Yeah, that was a good call. 47 yard. Jones goes in motion. Taylor has his number called on first down and heads wide right. Out of bounds at the 44. Troy Vincent eventually came around for the force out back there. They broke it outside, but he stopped them before the markers. Peter, they gave up a bundle and allow a second and short situation. Yep, the offense holds all the cards now. At the 44 yard line. Spikes likes to plug things up down there. 6 2, 242, and a real talent for stuffing the run. He knows how to lay on a hit in the backfield, believe me. Third down with two tight ends to the right. Yoder goes in motion. Taylor will get the third down. Big stop for first down. Greg Taylor played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A nice play, and with only a short distance to the first, first they put ten. it together and make it happen. Yeah, third and short always looks easy, but it's not, Dan. That's good execution. Taylor is at the 30, 15. Eventually shoved out at the one. It'll be first and goal. Fred Taylor averts danger on this one. Watch how he plows through the D. Oh, a big stiff arm on that play. Peter, those were some nifty moves to get free. In that matchup, he doesn't even need to dig down that deep to pull it off. First and goal. Ball at the one. Jones goes in motion. Fletcher tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. London Fletcher not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but bumped and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. They stopped that play for a bit of a loss, but it will still be second and short. Taylor picks up about two, and that brings up third down. Let's go back and revisit that last tackle in the backfield. Great stop. Well, at just 5'10 and 245 pounds, London Fletcher is pretty small by NFL standards, but he's no dummy out there, earning the nickname .com for his ability to read offensive plays before they get started. Taylor takes it for his 11th carry and gets in for the score. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That's the first time he's seen the end zone, and you know it was going to happen sooner or later. Oh, he expects to have something under that TD stat at the end of every game. Now the extra point, the extra and point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Scobie booms a beauty here. Clements decides to take it out of the end zone. Dragged down at the 16. Nate Clements thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The Bills' offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 16-yard line. McGahee will take the handoff and 
will lose about a yard here. Mike Peterson targeted the ball carrier early and didn't That's even let him get back quarter. to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Jaguars are out in front, seven to nothing. Passes Makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. The Rasheen Mathis came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Holcomb zings it to the right side, and it's intercepted. Interception Brought down Jaguar. at the 18. <laughs> Rasheen Mathis intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Jaguars are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 18-yard line. Intercepted. Face mask, number 22, defense. Five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Nate Clements Repeat held the face down. mask back there, but it was kind of iffy. That's a five-yard penalty and a right call. Leftwich throws a bullet to the flat end. The catch is made for a gain of a couple. Myron Leftwich zeroed in with the pass back there and leaves the two defenders empty-handed. <laughs> what ball placement. Not much there. It'll be second down. Second Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down. Seven yards to go. <laughs> this one will fall. Situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. The field. Is good. Puts it straight through the uprights and good. Josh Scobie has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense Number has 10. to be happy with how that one played out. There's the signal, and we're ready. Scobie kicks this one away. Parrish fields the kickoff at the five. Stop at the 21. Tony Parrish got waylaid by the defense before he was able to put Munch on the run back. The Bills were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 21-yard line. It's intercepted. Tackled at the 29. Check out the interception here on the replay, Dan. Watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path. 
Nice. That's how you make the INT, baby. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Jaguars come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at the 29-yard line. Taylor gets the call on first down, and Roma gets back to the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you, Peter, he made a great tackle there. He brought down one of the more elusive backs in the game. Well, you're absolutely right, Dan. Second but if nine. there's one guy on this defense that can stick with the ball and make the play, it was him. And a bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Williams pulls down the floater, out left, and that's a touchdown. Reggie Williams has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's all about staking your turf. Great effort to get him into the end zone, Peter. Yeah, that's how to play the game, 110%. Number 10 to attempt the extra point. Chris Hansen holding. <laughs> Here's the extra point. The extra and point is good. It's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Scobie rockets this one deep. Parrish decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 20. Tony Parrish got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Bills have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. McGahee takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Dragged down at the 21. And he did a super job of lining up his man and then pow, taking him down. That's a great battle down there, Dan. This time, the D1. Ball at the Bills, 21-yard line. No good. Incomplete. incomplete. Tony Parrish had Tony that one Parrish come right to him back receiver. there. You have to catch those Number passes, 52. baby. The incompletions the keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Holcomb rifles it out left side, and they can't connect. Incomplete with the deflection. Foreman lines up to punt after the three and out. Number 27 to make the return. Foreman takes the snap and pummels this one deep. Mathis fields the deep punt at the 31. Brought down at the 41. Face mask, number 40, offense. 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Number 40, really yanked on that helmet back there. So the personal foul call was a good one. You can't pull someone's face mask like that. First and ten. The Jaguars Jackson. come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at the 44-yard line. Taylor takes his 13th carry of the game and passes the line. First Eventually down, shoved out at the 29. That will bring up first down. Fred Taylor dished out a nice stiff arm on that play, which gave him some big yards. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 83 yards on 13 carries. First and 10. Ball at the 29. Jones calls it First in right side, and 
He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Terry Jones plays this one perfectly, getting himself to the right place at the right time to make the catch. The defense should be embarrassed that they let this one get away. Yeah, Peter, they had him double covered, and they still couldn't get First to the ball goal. in time. He was just oh, too good for them. Yeah, he's an incredible receiver. Nothing gets in his way. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Jones goes in motion. Taylor picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Fred Taylor used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. <laughs> Leftwich fires this one over the middle and it's off. Incomplete. Down, goal to go. <laughs> Scobie with a 22 a yarder and field. it's good. Josh Scobie puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Number 10, kicking off for the Jaguar. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Scobie kicks it off. Parrish catches it back at the one. Tackled at the 19. Tony Parrish tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. got much out of their offense recently and we'll see if they can get back on track here this drive begins at their own 19 yard line grant hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete jerry azuma with the coverage kelly holcomb has had difficulties to say the least and now he's second guessing everything he's throwing terrible day so far he struggled to get one yard and two interceptions Second and ten. Ball at the Bills' 19-yard line. Holcomb zings it to the right side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Machine Mathis came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball Third of the game. Yeah, great read there. Third the down and five wide receivers take the field. Grant makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Deion Grant came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Mormon lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Mormon gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Matthews feels it at the 34. Tackled at the 43. 
Rasheen Mathis returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. First the Jaguars Jackson. have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their 43-yard line. Taylor gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Okay, Fred Taylor play. used the blocking, but okay. this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, second but they were eight. you know, hoping for more. Leftwich throws a heater, and it's incomplete. Terry Jones had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. They've been having problems connecting over the middle of the field, and there was more proof of it right there. Yeah, a lot of bodies over the middle, and that congestion is what they're having problems with. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Taylor goes in motion. The Jaguars take their first time out. Come on, Bill. Play some D. First and ten. Ball at the 37. <laughs> Leftwich throws a beauty to the right side. And it's off. Incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. Second down, Second tight end 10. to the left. Ball at the 37. <laughs> Williams catches this one and tries to get free. He's in for the touchdown. Reggie Williams is going to make a great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. They score again and they are starting to pull away here. Yes, they are, Dan. They've got a nice pad now. If they stay focused, this game is theirs. Number 10 to attempt the extra point. Chris Hansen holding. Now the point after the and extra point is good. it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Scobie booms a beauty here. Parrish decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 18. Tony Parrish took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. Bills. Offense takes the field with the clock at 21. Evans goes in motion. Holcomb floats it to the right side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Rasheen Mathis came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That is their fourth batted ball. Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep Second it up, though. Ten. Second down, two receivers to the left. Yard line. Rip, 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 rip. <laughs> McGahee carries it past scrimmage and maybe picks up carrier. one on the play. Mike Peterson. Willis McGahee the used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face third down. Third and long, too, Dan. Big play coming up. That's the end and of that'll the do it quarter. for the first half of this one. The Jaguars in command of this one, 27 to nothing. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody 
to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now we'll look at our first half by the numbers, and I tell you, first downs have been the story here. The Bills are certainly losing because of it. It's hard to win when you play like that. We'll start this one off late in the first quarter. Fred Taylor on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 41-yard play that set up a Jaguar touchdown. The Jaguars get the first points of the game and go up by seven. The Bills on defense. Rasheen Mathis shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Jags now early in the second quarter. Jags out in front by seven. Number 20 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. They move ahead by 10. The Bills now in the second quarter. Mike Peterson shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Bills behind, 10 to nothing. Byron Leftwich would find his target on this one. A 28-yard touchdown for the Jaguars. The Jaguars have opened it up and now lead by 17. The Jags midway through the second, ball at their own 40. Fred Taylor would make the first guy miss, then he'd rip off a chunk of yardage here. That set up a 38-yard field goal. The Jags late into the second quarter. Jags leading by 20. Reggie Williams found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bills are down big at halftime, 27 to nothing. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Reggie Williams has taken over this game. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Bills will get the ball first here in the Third second down. half, and they are going to need a bunch of scores to get back into this one. Currently, they're down 27 to nothing. Let's get down to the field and the action. Some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to yeah, hold on to the ball. Susie Calver is down on the field and has some information for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. Head coach Jack Del Rio gave me a moment to speak to him at halftime. He's been thrilled with their defensive execution, saying, we've shut them out defensively, and our offense has been taking care of business. We can't get cocky. We just have to keep after it and give them no chance to come back on us. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. Mathis Passes tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Seven with the deflection. Kelly Holcomb is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got one yard and two interceptions. Second and ten. Ball at the Bills 21 yard line. Single back. Single back. Check two. Check two. Check two. Blue 13. Holcomb rifles it out left side and Passes it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Jerry Azuma shadowed the slant Jerry route back Azuma there and kept the, the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Third down with the tight end right. Price goes in motion. Cousin puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Donovan Darius had that play dissected before it even started, really. Textbook zone coverage there. Peter, the defense stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and in my opinion, too, a bad call. Mormon takes the long snap and punts it away. Mathis feels the punt at the 38. The Stopped at the 48. Rasheen Mathis racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Jaguars start this one on the center logo at their 48-yard line. 
Williams goes in motion. Triplett makes the hit in the backfield at the 46. Larry Triplett was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Leftwich throws a bullet to the flat, and it falls incomplete. Watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Brady pitches the heater left first side line, line, and they get the first on third and long. Come on. Why are we, I can't see it. Byron Leftwich has little problem completing this pass. He makes it look so easy, and he's getting paid so much money, Dan. It makes you wonder. And there he is with the catch. Well, look, uh, you've got an easy job, Peter, and you make a lot of money. What's the difference? First well, the difference 10. is i got to work with you. Oh, 37. Oh, yeah. And that looked to me like an effective way to throw your weight away. <laughs> yeah, he's up against a quick defender, but the pounds have it on this one. Leftwich unloads this to First the right sideline, and the reception's made at the 10. And he's stopped right there. It'll be first and goal. First down, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the nine. Taylor picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Okay, fellas, we've been over this all week in practice. Now we're going to get it this time. Now we're going to go just like it is. We're going to execute, and we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need to. Okay, fellas? Second and goal. Ball at the seventh. Jones goes in motion. Taylor gets the call again and he gains about three yards. Couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Scobie with a 21 yarder and. It's up through the goal post. Good. Josh Scobie has no problem getting this one between the sticks for three. Oh, he was so close. He could have made that if he was wearing wooden clogs. Uh, <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have a feeling we'll never know for sure. They'll Number take 10. the three Taking points, the but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Scobie rockets this one deep. Parrish decides to take it out of the end zone. Bang down at the 21. Tony Parrish took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Bills stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 21-yard line. <laughs> Holcomb airs this one to the left sideline, and it's tipped incomplete. incomplete. Jerry Azuma, Jerry Azuma managed to disrupt things. He got in there, and he smacked that pass away. Great D. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. <laughs> that is their sixth so far. Wow, great Second anticipation of the pass. Second the down from the eye. Hut, hut. 
Price goes in motion. Catches it over the middle, Number and that's good for a gain of five. Dion Grant with the tackle. Kelly Holcomb has been searching for a rhythm out there, and he's come up short, Dan. As you can see by these numbers, he's been having a rough day of it. So far, he's struggled to get five yards and no touchdowns. You just stay you Third are. and five. Ball at the Bills' 26-yard line. Holcomb dumps this one to the flat, and it's completed for 25, and he's stopped right there. Smith will be credited with the tackle. That will bring up fourth down. Daryl Smith was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They stand tall and force a loss of yardage there. That's going to bring up a difficult fourth and long. Mormon gets the ball and punts it away. Matthews fields the deep punt at the 32. Brought down at the 40. Rasheen Mathis returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Jaguars will start this first play of the drive at their 40-yard line. Number 86 goes in motion. Taylor will get the carry on first down and gains about three yards. London Fletcher with the tackle. Fred Taylor has taken it to the offense, sure enough, but you have to credit him for that huge run he broke off earlier. Real dangerous as soon as he gets past the line. I like his numbers here. So far, he's racked up 94 yards and one touchdown. Watch the counter. Watch the counter. Second and six. Ball at the Jaguars, 43-yard line. Taylor loses two, and that brings up third down. Number 20 is relentless here, and he chases the ball carrier into the backfield. He closes in. There's the hit. You know, that, that reminds me of this uh, nature show I saw on TV. Yeah. Where, yeah, where a lion pounced on an antelope in the Serengeti. <laughs> yeah, but at least the antelope doesn't have to shake hands with the lion when it's all over. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner, stepping up and doing his job. Leftwich throws a heater, and it is not reeled in, incomplete. Fred Taylor was the man on that play, coming across the middle, but the ball couldn't find him, incomplete. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan, and when you don't convert, it really hurts. Hansen gets the ball and puts it away. Tackle that to 24. Nate Clements got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Bills offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 24-yard line. Holcomb dumps this one to the flat and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Lee Evans took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. That's another rinky-dink pass that hardly seems worth throwing. Completions are fine and all, Dan, but you got to move the ball. And that'll do it for the third That's quarter. The, the Jaguars the quarter. in command of this one, 30 to nothing.
Darius tips Passes it away incomplete. on the coverage. Incomplete. Donovan Darius. Donovan Darius knocked that pass down. Man, he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every nine. chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend line. the pass when you can obliterate it? Third down from the shotgun. Holcomb throws a bullet to the flat and it's complete at the Number 25. Pass tackled at the 27. Mathis with, the, with tackle. the tackle. Fourth down so coming up. <laughs> this one falls pass incomplete complete. and they will turn the ball Longer over David on down. The intended receiver. Jerry Azuma with the cover. Jerry Azuma sitting back there in the zone waiting for this one, Dan. Check it out. Yep, he forced the incomplete pass. That's great coverage. They don't get the fourth down conversion they needed, Peter, although I don't think they should have punted it away. No, that far behind, they are definitely in go-for-broke mode. Unfortunately, they got broke. The Jaguars' offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at the 26-yard line. Wilfred goes in motion. <laughs> Gains five Red on the Taylor, play, the and carrier. that will bring up second Number down. Red Taylor attack. landed a nasty stiff arm back there, giving him a few more yards. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Oh, second look at those four. numbers. That's how to ball get it done on the ground. Fletcher blasts him back at the 22. London Fletcher was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. dropped short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Number 20 just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers, but the only thing that's gonna grow there is the D's morale. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down, two yards to go. Scoby kicks from 36 yards out and has its sail just left of the upright. Josh Scoby misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. That's his first miss of the game after going three for three. I don't care how many he makes, that one miss will eat at him. Bills were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 27-yard line. Holcomb rifles it out left side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Darius makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Donovan Darius came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Ten. Ball at the Bills 41 yard line. Holcomb throws a bullet and this one is incomplete. Tony Parrish was the intended receiver. Number 24. Kelly Holcomb has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan. He just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 19 yards and two interceptions. Okay, Third down, one man and back. Ball at the up. Bills 41-yard line. Lapper, 
Evans didn't haul Passes that incomplete. one in, and it falls Number incomplete. Fourth down coming receiver. up. Lee Evans Mike positioned Peterson himself the on the company. outside back there, but the ball didn't position itself in his hands. No catch. Another incompletion, and fourth they still and can't get it done through the air. And now that we're in the fourth quarter, Peter, it doesn't look like things are going to change. No, it's a day to forget, that's for sure. Holcomb zings it to the right side, and it falls incomplete. incomplete. They will turn Number the ball over on down. Number 24 with the cover. Wow, this was a really nice play, Dan, and it worked out from so many angles. But the main thing I love is all the little details. Oh, this is the stuff our camera crew is so good at capturing every week. Great job, guys. The Jaguars have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 40-yard line. We'll get stopped at the line, the and that carrier. brings up second down. Number 55, Angelo Crowell was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down, second just a single receiver on the Ball field. The 40-yard line. Second down. Second the clock is stopped at two minutes. At the 40-yard line. Down. Set. Down. 31. <laughs> takes the, the Bills take their first time out. Look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Levin is at the Jack 25. Line. The Bills oh. will take a timeout. That's their second. Come on, Bills. Play some D. First and 10. The ball at the 22 yard line. Levens carries this one off to the right. I'm out for Second down, two tight ends in the game. Ball at the 21. Gash goes in motion. Levens gains eight yards, and he'll stop the clock at 139. Dorsey Levens inexplicably stopped the clock by going out of bounds. That boy is a few sheep short of a wool sweater, baby. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now, Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Third down, the clock is stopped at 139. Levens gets the call on third first down, down and gets the first right, down. Yeah, the clock continues to run. Oh, all right, all right, all right. First and goal. Ball at the one. Down. Set. Red, 35. Red, 35. Cut. Loss of one on the play. And 
that is going to do it for this one. The Jaguars come out on top 30 to nothing. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Jaguars stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Byron Leftwich would find his target on this one. That set up an automatic 21-yard field goal. The Jaguars move ahead big and now lead by 30. The Jags have to stop on fourth down, this time at the 38. Dorsey, the horse, Levens get up ahead of steam, and then it was clear sailing from there. And that's where we'll leave this one. Jags win big, 30 to nothing. Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Reggie Williams is down on the field with Susie Calvert. Suze? Thank you, Chris. You really showed up today, and you prevailed with a big victory. What do you think was the critical factor in getting the W? Man, our defense played great. They were getting after the ball, hustling, making hits all game long. Man, it got me fired up watching them play. It was a nice effort all around, though. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.